Sometimes it really is that easy. These fairy skeletons are high impact with very low effort. I started with three small skeletons. Their bleached white bones looked okay, I guess, but why settle for okay when you can have fabulous? So I tossed them onto a piece of cardboard and lightly sprayed them with metallic antique brass followed by a shiny and glamorous gold. I wasn't going for the C-3PO look, just a little Florida tan to cover up the North Dakota white. Now for the magic, light up fairy wings. I got these from Amazon, but any fairy or butterfly wings will work. I tried a few different methods of attaching the wings, including hot glue and tying the knots in the straps they come with. But the shrimp intervened at this point and showed me a better way with zip ties. Hey, these dinky skeletons are her people, so I guess she would know best, am I right? After finishing the fairy skeletons, I set to work on the fairy skelly king, or queen. It's a little hard to tell since the post-mortem weight loss. I painted the bones bronze and gold, but instead of EL wire wings, I zip-tied these battery-operated light-up flappy wings onto the back of the ribcage. And here they are, Harry, Larry, and Mary, the grown-up fairies, hanging around while the fairy king, or queen, watches over them. These fairy skeletons are so easy to make and the neighborhood kids will love them. 